Sadly, society tells us that if we don't have a partner, then we are an outsider to the world. And if you do feel you are struggling to find love, you probably feel a lot more pressure to try harder, which makes you more desperate. And this is a huge reason that you are not actually finding decent love because you are rushing it. So let's dial back and look at the many reasons that are stopping you from finding love. My name is Anna and welcome to the channel. You only put your needs first. Relationships are all about give and take and they involve a lot more compromise than you would ever realize. It's not always going to be about you getting your needs met. There is another person involved, which is easy to forget, I understand. And if you give off vibes that you're the only one about yourself, you will be turning people off you. Instead, work on being compassionate to someone else's needs and you will find that giving to a partner and making them feel happy makes you feel happy too. Ooh, you have already found it. That's right. You've already found love and you keep looking for something which you already have. Did you have a past relationship that seemed to be the one that got away? You may have broken up too soon or broke up for a silly reason and you weren't quite ready for that relationship. It could be that you are not able to find love because it already exists and you just need to rekindle what you already have. You are most definitely not ready for love. Society, come on, tells us that we aren't truly happy, apparently, until we are in a relationship, but then fails to tell us that we need to be happy with being single first. So if you are striving for someone to save you, to bring you happiness, and to wave a magical wand and just make you feel complete, you are actually asking someone to do something that they could never achieve. And this is a sign that you are not ready for love and that you most definitely have some inner work that you need to focus on first. Perhaps you don't actually have the time for love. And that's okay, we're all busy trying to get ahead in life. It's okay to refuse love because you don't have the time to commit. And let's face it, if your partner can realize that you are always too busy, why would they want to date you? You could be focusing on your career, looking after a family member, busy with school. These are all valid reasons to hold off because love needs time. It needs your full attention and it's not fair to string someone along to only see them once in a blue moon when you are not busy. You are not finding love because you cannot forgive. Were you burned badly in the past? It's happened to the best of us. Maybe a partner cheated on you and you still hold on to that resentment of how they mistreated you and presume everyone's going to do the same. This will only put up a wall that other people can sense. So if you are not willing to pull down those walls, well, why would someone want to be vulnerable with you if you are always on the lookout for those tiny little things? Ha, I knew you were going to do this. You were just like everybody else. You need to let someone in and let that person try again. People can be forgiven. People can change. Not everyone deserves a second chance, obviously. However, if they are genuine with their apology and their actions have changed and they can admit their wrongdoings, then the only person that is hurting you and stopping you from love is you. You are not selling yourself. If you have just come out of a long-term relationship, then you have to actually be very different when you go back into the dating scene, because in a relationship, you are used to Netflix and chills, cuddles on the sofa, and kind of always getting your needs met because someone has worked you out. However, if you are back on the dating scene as a new, freshly single person and you're struggling to find love, it's because you have not changed your mindset. So get back into your flirting game, play hard to get, build a little bit of attraction, have a little bit of playful banter, and this will help you on the way to find some love. You do not respect other people's lifestyles and behavior. It's very common, and I'm sure we've all done this at once until we realize how relationships work, is that we have tried to, without realizing, actually manipulate someone to change their behavior. We've tried to change and mold someone into someone that they are not, and this is never going to work out as true love. You need to either accept someone for who they are and be willing to put up with the compromise, or you say, you know what, this isn't working for me. I need to be with someone that's a little bit different and you go out and find that person. You struggle to be emotionally vulnerable 
perhaps you went through a lot in the past. Maybe this is just something that you have to deal with. For example, maybe you have a slight range of autism or perhaps you even have an attachment trauma. No matter what it is, if you struggle to be emotionally vulnerable and you don't learn how to change, people are not going to be comfortable to want to date you. Being in a relationship means you can be very raw with someone. You can let someone see that gooey inner center that everyone has, but you only choose to show it to one specific person. And if people cannot see your own emotional vulnerabilities, they're not gonna do the same for you. You do not respect yourself. You could be the type of person that always feels like they're not getting what they want out of a relationship and that they are struggling to find that person that's going to give them their needs. Now it could be you have always been in relationships where you give and you give and you don't get back. Perhaps maybe you have an attachment trauma and you are trying to give someone lots and lots of love and help them out thinking that they will turn around and give you your needs and that is not how a relationship works. If you let someone feel that your needs are not important and you are happy to give them what they want, why would they want to change? So you need to make it your mission to say to people, this is what I want, within reason, of course. And if I don't get it, then this is not going to happen. A relationship is all about compromise. And remember, you have to have your own boundaries. You need to know what you like, what you don't like, and you want to make sure you are not being taken for granted. You idolize relationships. We've all done it in the past. We've grown up with Disney films, Pixar movies, cosmopolitan magazines, and Hollywood films. They all tell us that there is someone out there that always knows how to make us feel good and that there is one true person for us. Now, if you believe in these fantasy bonds, I'm sorry to break it to you, but they really do not exist. Sometimes you're gonna be dating someone that's going through their own things so that they can't be there for you for a couple of months because they are busy. They may have their own stresses going on and you need to be able to think, you know what, it's okay. I will just put my needs aside for the second and help out my partner. If you're not willing to do that, you're not ready for a relationship. You have a fear of rejection. Perhaps you don't put yourself out there or when you do, you aren't really being your true self. You're not willing to be vulnerable because you are scared of rejection. It could be you don't make a lot of money. You don't feel that you are socially inadequate. You don't have a great family status or situation back home. Whatever that is to you, you are using this as a reason that you can't find love. And maybe you are expecting someone to just say, I don't mind all these problems that you have and all these traumas and baggage, let me take it on. Now let's be honest, do you want to adopt someone else's trauma and baggage? Probably not. Well, most definitely not. So if you feel that you are scared of rejection, you need to look into why that is. If you feel you're not good enough to be in a relationship, well, no one's going to actually think otherwise. So work on yourself and remember, as long as you are growing and you are trying to get away from past troubles and traumas, there is always someone that's going to want to date you. You don't understand your partner's wants or their needs. If you are dating the opposite gender, then you have to do some research because a guy's brain is nothing like my brain. And there's relationships that I have had where I feel very much like, why is this person not aware of my need? And he will say, why is Anna not aware of my needs? And that is because we are two different people. If you are dating someone of the opposite gender, you need to put some research into what a guy does or what a lady does as well. Because even if you are dating the same sex, there's still problems as well. Everyone has different love languages. On the contrary, most guys are very physical, and then ladies are very emotional. So you have to understand that push and pull. But again, in the same gender relationships, there are the love languages. And it could be you are giving someone lots of love and they're just not vibing with it. They don't feel that's love for them. You need to figure out what your partner's wants and their needs and be able to give them that. And that is what a relationship is. It's not always gonna be easy and plain sailing. So remember, a relationship's about compromise. And if you are willing to give someone their needs, you will get yours met as well. You really aren't looking for love. Maybe you feel that if you just go out to a library, you will put your hand on a book, your love of your life will put their hand on the book as well, and then kind of like a Hollywood romance film. That is not going to happen. You've got to be aware of the times. Do not reinvent the wheel. Everyone is addicted to their phones, me included. So go on social media, actually go on dating apps. This is where you're going to find those people. And you have to be willing to put yourself out there. You can't just expect Prince Charming to knock on your door like an Amazon delivery, it doesn't really work like that. Maybe you are looking in the complete wrong place. 
Let's say you don't want to go with the whole phone situation, social media and phone dating apps. That's totally fine. Perhaps you want to meet people in person and you've noticed you seem to be picking up people from clubs, restaurants and bars and then you're thinking, hang on a second, these people that I'm dating, they have an alcoholic dependency, which I'm not comfortable with. Well, there's the problem. Where are you meeting these people? You need to think, what is the person that I would love to fall in love with? Where do they hang out? Let me go there and find them. You believe in soulmates and destiny. Now, it's such a lovely thought, isn't it? There's someone out there that they have always been there since the day we were born, just growing and frolicking around life. And that is the person for us. This one true person, our soulmate, that gets us and things are just perfect. And sadly, that doesn't happen. I mean, if you believe in destiny, that is awesome. But there's so many people that we can end up getting married to, have a divorce with, have children with. Now, it's true. If you don't go out there and search for it, people are going to never know that you are available and open to actually be in a relationship with so don't feel like there is someone out there you just have to wait for them to come and knock on your door no you have to go out and find people and it's not as if you're going to find just one true love you will find so many in this lifetime you are not over your ex-partners this is very common and sometimes people get so hurt from the breakup that they don't realize that they are still actually pining for someone many years down the road. So if you find yourself entering relationships and just struggling to make them actually work, it could be you are closing off. You are always comparing your new partner to your ex-partner and for some reason they just can't compare. Your ex-partner is amazing. But have a think, am I actually still emotionally invested into my ex-partner? And if you you are you need to learn to overcome this before you can start to date someone else you have an attachment trauma wow attachment traumas are something that is everyone seems to have it it's a rarity now that people actually have a secure attachment and there's a lot to go into when it comes to attachment traumas but if you are someone that had a very rough childhood or a very ptsd worthy experience towards their later years of life, this means you are more likely to develop an attachment trauma. It could be you had abusive parents, maybe you were put into the adoption process, you didn't know your family, or maybe your family were great, they gave you everything but starved you from emotional support, or one day they were there and the next day they weren't, and it left you feeling very confused. Depending on your actual surroundings as a child, you will grow up trying to relive those moments to overcome them. For example, if you are an anxious person in love constantly feeling like someone's going to leave you you have to overcompensate it means you are dating people that are just like your parents someone that is very avoidant in love so that you can complete that cycle and feel good about yourself now if you do find that you do have an attachment trauma the only way to get over this is to learn about the attachment to do some work with a therapist before you enter a relationship and please understand your partner is not your therapist you should never give your partner that amount of needs and direct attention to your emotional self. It's very unhealthy. And wow, we made it to the end of the video. If you like this video, give us a huge thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. It will make my day. And you can even go one step further and get your name up on our super fan board. These are some amazing people that actually support the channel every single month. And if you want to know more about that, then click the description box below to find out some more. Have an amazing day. See you soon.